hi everyone welcome back to the channel so let's see our agenda for today so today we are going to discuss about q triggers in orchestrator so we'll see that what is a q trigger why do we even need a q trigger when we already have time based trigger in orchestrator next i'll show you a demonstration of q trigger in working next i'll try to explain how the working uh, q trigger sample was made step by step explanation of the video and then at the last i'll demonstrate you what are the things we should need to consider when implementing a q trigger okay so i'll just park the first question for a while that why what is a q trigger and i'll just try to explain why do we even need a q trigger okay so let's say you have a process called approved process and that is a separate flow so approved process is a flow which is already deployed in the orchestrator and is running fine okay we have one more process which is a separate process that is called a rejected process whose job is to just reject the process and send a rejection summary to the client and we have approved process so these two processes are separate so approved process reject process approved process has a separate workflow whose job is to just approve the processes and send a successful email and these process two processes are already deployed in production and are working fine okay so these two processes are working so let's say we have uh, scheduled them already with some with the help of a time trigger or with the help of a cron expression so assuming that the approved process is working on monday wednesday and friday and the reject process is working on let's say january february and march right so these two are scheduled with the help of time triggers and cron expression if you are not aware of how to do with a time trigger and cron just go to the description and see the video on the cron expression and the time based scheduling okay so this is a happy process and this was already working in the production okay so now let's say we receive a requirement where the set of users now do not want to run the process on the time based scheduling so so the requirement is they want to run the process whenever they send a email so they can send an email in the morning they can send an email twice they can send three emails together so all the set of users what they want is whenever they send an email to the bot email id or to a specific email id they want to run either of the two process okay so if the email content or the subject says approved they want to run the approved process and if the email content or anything say rejected or the subject is re rejected so they want the rejected process to run right so now if you will see we cannot schedule this one because we are not aware of how many email will come when the email will come right so this is not possible with the help of the time trigger or the cron expression so this is the place when we need a q based trigger right so as the name suggests q based trigger so what the q based trigger will do in this scenario whenever there is a new email it will add that email to the q and whenever there is a new item in the queue the process will get triggered accordingly so for example we have received a new email which says approved so approved process will get triggered and whenever we have email which is rejected then the rejected will get trigger right so this is what we call a queue based trigger right so adding an item to the queue and then on the basis of the item trigger a process now let's see how this process looks like in orchestrator and in working okay so now let's see how how the processes look like in orchestrator so we have two processes one is approved process and one is rejected process so these are the two separate process let quickly see that how does it look like so when we just execute the approved process okay i'll just select in this robot so approve whenever the approved process is running so what it will do is it will just display a message box that i am approved process and it was executed at 10 8 so with the date time step okay so assuming that this is a big process and at the end this shows this message or this is an email so as of now i've just created a message box so this is a separate process and then we have one more process which is called a reject process so i'll just hit the reject process also so this is how the reject process looks like okay so this is a rejected process so this is the two process which are which are executed separately and now the thing is why we want to execute this processes whenever we receive an email on the mailbox okay so if i go to the jobs you will see that approve and reject processes are run triggered by manual process okay now let's quickly go to the mailbox okay so as you can see there is no email in the mailbox now okay i'll quickly send an email to the mailbox okay it's updating the inbox okay so now i have received an email in my mailbox and now what should happen is whenever i receive an email 
that process should get automatically triggered okay so let's see so i am just waiting so if i go to the orchestrator okay so as of now we have nothing added okay so somebody has sent an email which says approved quotation this is a sample email which i have sent it so the expectation is whenever there is an email the process should trigger and it should show a message box okay so as you can see in the bot bottom i can say something has started okay see so the process is executed for the approved item and we have not executed this one okay so if i click okay it will just uh, uh, stop the process okay so let me just quickly show one more demo where i am going to send and rejected email for the quotation i will just share and rejected email to the same bot okay so this is approved okay and i let me just delete this one okay so i have deleted this email okay so let's say this email was already processed now the there is something happening with the process and somebody has uh, uh, due to some reason or anything now somebody has sent an email for the rejected quotation so this email i have again sent it from my mobile and it's not reflecting or it's updating inbox so i have received an email for rejected quotation now so this is an email i have just sent it now at 2224 now what should happen is whenever an email is received see you can see this is the process which is executed for the rejected item okay now let's go to the orchestrator and see the setup so if you'll see the in the orchestrator so this was see this was the rejected process and this was the approved process right so this was processed by the approved trigger so this is the name of the queue which has triggered the process and this is the name of the queue which has triggered the reject process okay so if you will see the last one was manual and these two were processed automatically whenever the item was added to the queue so this is what i wanted to demonstrate now let's quickly see how did i accomplish this thing so this is how a queue trigger works right so what what ideally happens is whenever the new email is received it just adds an item to the queue and whenever an item is added to the queue the process get triggers okay let's now quickly uh, i'll show you how i accomplish this one okay Okay, so now that we have seen how the process looks like now I am going to show you how I have accomplished that one okay so I'll delete the existing one I'll just remove everything whatever was there okay so we know right we have two processes so if I go to the processes there are two processes one is the approve process reject process we want to run the process whenever we receive an email okay so for a queue based trigger the first thing we require is to create a queue since we have two processes I'll just create two queues one is the approved queue okay I'll leave everything to the default setting and I'll hit add okay and then I'll add a queue which is called reject queue okay so now i have added two queues so the purpose of the queue is whenever an item is whenever an email is sent out to the mailbox an item should be added to the queue right but how would this queue trigger a process right so for that what we have to do is we can go here and we can add a trigger okay this will automatically take us to the create trigger and the queue wizard and if you will see the queue name would be automatically selected okay so this is the first Way, how we can create a queue trigger the second way is we can always go to trigger we can select a new one we can go to queue trigger and then we can select the process associated with it and we can continue with it okay so I prefer by this way this make more sense I go to approved queue I go here I add a trigger and the process name is already selected I just name the trigger as proved trigger okay so now it is asking for which process to execute okay so for the approved one this is the approved process i'll just leave everything to the default setting and i'll hit add okay so if you will see an approved trigger is now added okay so the next is i'll do similarly by the other way i'll just go here queue i will select the reject queue so as you can see we have already have the process now the second one i am uh, going by the second route so this is how you can also create a trigger you just select the queue you name the process as reject trigger select the process rejected process and add it 
okay so we have two triggers now one is the approved one and another is the reject one right but how? so whenever an item is added to this queue uh, the queue name is this one approved uh, sorry whenever the new item is added to the queue it will trigger the process because we have uh, added a queue trigger so now if you go to the queue you will see this sign so this sign indicate that it has a queue trigger associated with it right now how do we add an item to the queue so I have written one more process in the uh, in the studio which says that it is reading my email and for each of the email whenever the subject is approved it is just adding an item to the queue and if you will see the queue name so this is the queue name which I have given approved item queue and whenever the subjects are rejected it is just adding an item so this is how, how I was able to accomplish that one so now what is happening is whenever the an email is received so this process is running in the background so if you will see there is there was one more process process to add item to the queue so this process was running running it was hitting my mailbox okay this mailbox whenever it receives an email it used to just add an item to the queue the way I demonstrated and whenever the item is added to the queue it will just execute right you can see all the item status everything from view transaction so as of now there is no more transaction no new transaction so whenever there uh, there is a transaction you can always come here and see those details okay so this is how I was able to accomplish that one now so the next part of the thing is what are the things we should consider when going for a queue trigger right so first thing you would notice that when we created a queue trigger it did not ask me for which robot to execute okay I can again show it to you so you will see we have just selected the trigger there is no place of selecting the robot that means it is going to execute on all the robots which are available in the environment the process is deployed so for me the process if I go to the process so this process is deployed to environment unattended right so all the robots which are having uh, which are associated to this environment this process can execute it in any of this one okay so this is the first thing you should take care of that all the robots which are assigned to this environment should have the minimum things which are required for the process to run so for example let me give an example if your process is is expected to log in into some process and the uh, robot credential are only applicable for robot one right and the credential are not applicable to the robot two right now if you hit a queue trigger and you assign both the process to an environment and now a queue trigger is fired so it might pick the robot to who is not having that exact access right so that is one thing you, you should take care of while scheduling a queue trigger the next thing you should take care of is whenever you add an item to the queue right so every 30 minutes what happens the queue is refreshed right so what UiPath orchestrator does every 30 minutes it checks the queue so let's say you have an item which is added to the approved queue the process is executed successfully now as a developer it is your responsibility to mark the item as deleted or mark the status as completed because whenever it will see a new item in the queue it will again execute the process so you might want it or you might not want it so these are the two things which you need to consider when uh, when looking for a queue trigger okay. okay so now we have seen everything the demo and how we can schedule a queue trigger let's see what exactly a queue trigger so queue trigger is nothing but a trigger that is processed whenever a new item is available in the queue okay so now these are the options which are available when we schedule a queue trigger so first one is the minimum number of items to trigger the first job so that is basically how many number of items you want so as of now so the default is one you can set it to at least two at least three at least four based on your requirement then the other setting is maximum number of pending and running jobs allowed simultaneously and the last setting is another job is triggered for each new row so the description is available you can find all these details in the UiPath or UiPath official site I'll provide you the link in the description so these are the settings which are available for the queue triggers okay so now I'll just quickly recap what are the things that we need to consider while setting a queue trigger so the first thing is the triggers run in the environment in case of the classic folder so the orchestrator we just saw it was a classic folder so had we been in a modern folder so it would be running in the folder process so the thing is the triggers run not on a specific robot it runs on the environment on the folder which is associated with the process okay next every 30 minutes a check for the new items is performed okay and if the triggering condition is met it will launch again 
right so that means you ha would have to follow the some of the basic things right so these are the some of the basic recommendation which you have provides which says that you have queue items are added to the queue much faster that they are processed with the available resources next queue items are added to the queue during the non working days so non working days is basically nothing but let's say you are working for a bank and the second of october was a holiday right so how do you do that right so we can set up a calendar in our orchestrator so orchestrator will refer to the non working days and it will process accordingly right so in terms of queues queue items are added to the queue uh, during the non working days also okay but they can only but they can only be processed during the working hours okay so all these details whichever i am showing are available in the uh, uipath site so during the 30 minute check one thing is there there is a risk of the resource obstruction during the non business hours right so to avoid this make sure there is no unprocessed item at the end of the working day right so whenever the business day is ending so make sure that the queue items are all processed or the queue is empty all these details are available in the docs.uipart.com or cassette docs about triggers i will provide all these details in the description below so if you are aware of the ui path and all so this scenario can be also handled with the new concept of hyper automation which we call humans in the loop but since we are in the queue trigger so this is how you can accomplish a queue trigger so that's it for today's video thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and happy automation